Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Today I'm going to bring you another psalm. I think we've had enough bad news for a little bit, right? I don't even know what's going on at the Palma or if the lava hit the ocean or whatever. But I'll check on it after I do this video. Because I want to give this time, my first time, to the Lord today. I mean, I already did, personally. But I mean, video-wise. Alright, I'm on Psalm 140. I did 145 yesterday and was led to share it. So I left it on 145. Can you believe I'm, I am just now getting through the Psalms again? Uh, I tell you, I, well, let me just get on with it, okay? This is titled, and, and I'm on Blue Letter Bible, as you can see, dot .org, not dot .com. And this is the NASB 95. The Lord extolled for his goodness. Oh, and I put a video up on BitChute that I did yesterday. I want to go ahead and mention this before I forget because they might cut off the bottom of this. They, they've been, I tried to find my camera, my regular little camera, and I was going to start trying to make videos on it. But somehow or other, it's come up missing. I probably put it somewhere when I rearranged my living room, <laughs> living room, <laughs> the sitting space, whatever you call it in a studio, the living room area. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> a camera that always sits right here. Anyway, I put up a video on BitChute. It was done by a pathologist. He's got a Ph.D. in virology and pathology, I believe it was, the second one. He and his team of seven at a lab where he runs a lab doing blood work for her hospitals and doctor offices and such. Thousands and thousands of samples came up. Influenza A, influenza B, not coronavirus. It's a couple months old. I don't know why I didn't see it before. But that's alright. I already knew it. We knew it. Now we can prove it. Check it out. This video is not long. And they sent samples to lot of four, like something like Harvard, Yale, big medical universities, and let them sample it. And now they're suing the CDC because they lied. Alright, let's get on with this. Psalm 145 1. It's Truther 2.0 on bitshoot.com. A psalm of praise of David. I will extol you, my God, O King, and I will bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. Whoa, what's going on? This little mouse gets it rolling. <laughs> Great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised, is how I've heard it before, or highly in this version. And his greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. That's what we're supposed to do, brothers and sisters. Tell others of the works he has done to our with others, particularly our children. How many children of this generation don't know about his mighty works from the Bible. Maybe because their parents failed them and maybe because their parents before them failed them. Okay, moving on. <laughs> Okay, so one generation shall praise your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts on the glorious splendor 
or footnote says majesty of your splendor I like that word majesty uh, of the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wonderful works I will meditate yeah let's meditate on God and his greatness and not on what's going on in the world if you're living right and you're claiming Psalm 91 that says uh, he um, he will hide you under his wings those who are upright living righteous lives obeying him loving him and so forth he is protecting you under the shelter of his wings if you're not in the habit of reading Psalm 91 every night I suggest you do learn it some of you still have a good memory you can probably memorize it I still read it okay men shall speak of the power of your awesome acts and will tell of your greatness they shall eagerly utter the memory of your abundant goodness and will shout joyfully of your righteousness that's how it should be unfortunately the last I don't know how many hundred of years or decades people quit doing it like it was meant to be the Lord is good to all and his mercies are over all his works okay <clears throat> he would be good to all The one, let's go back to verse 8. The Lord is gracious, or maybe I missed it. This mouse might have bounced, be too far down. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and great in loving kindness. This is what this psalmist saw. And I know he's allowing Satan to have his way now because it's written in the word. It's going to be that way in this day. We're in the end days. And he's wearing down the saints, which is separating the wheat from the tares. Because not everybody can take it. They don't have the faith to say no to the government. They don't have trust in the Lord the way they should, so they don't have the peace they need. And they don't see this like we should. He is slow to anger because sin has been abounding for years and years and years. The pedophilia satanic sa uh, sexual sacrifices sexual ritual satanic sexual rituals rituals and sacrifices I, I don't even know how to word it there's sex and blood involved and it's to Satan that's what I know in children very young that's why so many people get kidnapped so many are not ever found. But there's there's a reason for it. The Lord is good to all. Everybody gets a chance. People just choose to go their own way. They choose to be in the wrong place at the wrong time. And his mercies are over all his works. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and your godly ones shall bless you. That's right. Those of us who recognize all this, don't we bless the Lord? That song, bless the Lord, O my soul, O my soul, I worship your holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, 
I worship your holy name. I worship your holy name. Do you sing that? Or what do you sing in the morning? Maybe something like it. I hope. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power. Oh, yes. The glory of his kingdom. How we can't wait to be with him in his kingdom. Up in heaven and see the mansions he's preparing for us. He's promised. For I go to prepare a place for you. So that when I come and bring you to myself. There you can be also. To make known to the sons of men your mighty acts. And the glory of the majesty of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. And your dominion endures throughout all generations. Yep, he is on the throne no matter what's happening. God is on the throne and Jesus is sitting right beside him. And they are ruling the world. And of course... Jesus can come down here and visit people in their dreams and even in person if he wants to. The Lord sustains all who fall and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you. Capital Y. That's why I like the NASB. They capitalize the proper pronouns for God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. The eyes of all look to you. The footnote says literally, wait or hope for. We wait for you, Lord Jesus, is what they're saying. And hope for him to come any day now. And you give them their food in due time. I trust him for all my provision and I pray that you do too. You open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and kind in all his deeds. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desires of those who fear him. He will also hear their cry and will save them. The Lord keeps all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Let me read that again. The Lord keeps all who love him. But all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord. And all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. And what does he say to the lukewarm church? Which is most of everybody that goes to a brick and mortar building church. I'm not going to say... Yeah, I'm going to say most. Look what's happening. Who do you know that goes to a church that ate the cookies? He's going to vomit them out of his mouth. He's going to tell them, depart from me. I do not know you. And yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's been very upsetting to me. Because it was so... easy for them and all the people who have also eaten the cookies. It was so easy for them to just line up because oh my goodness, we've got this pandemic going on and we don't want to die from it. Right? Yeah. More lies from the father of lies himself. Coming down through all those who work for him. And those who trusted in the Lord. 
will be rewarded. We shall be rewarded. We shall see. See, how does it go? We shall see Jesus. Let's see. <clears throat> the song goes, We shall see Jesus. We shall behold him. Yes, we shall behold him. Okay, I can't sing it. Face to face. My Savior and Lord. That's It's a very hard song to sing. And it just came into my memory, that little bit of it. Came out in the 80s. Oh, man. I don't even know how I would look that up. I guess we shall behold him. I might look that up and download it to my computer. But it is hard to sing along to. Wait till we behold him, brothers and sisters. Just wait. Our jaws will be dropping and hitting the floor. That <laughs> kind of thing, you know. Our eyes will probably be like deer in a headlight. Uh, headlight? Yeah. Of a car. Yeah, deer's just, whoa. <laughs> I mean, can you imagine what it's going to be like? I can hardly wait. 